So the European Commission is gearing up to introduce a ban on lead ammunition and later extend that ban to any use of lead. Uh, for those who are not familiar with the matter, let me explain. It really started in 2015 and uh, the European Chemicals Agency, also known as ECHA, is trying to regulate the use of lead in Europe. The very same lead metal that is used by shooters and anglers. So it can potentially play out in three acts. First, ban on lead shots over the wetlands. So waterfallers will be affected, uh, shotguns, smoothbore guns. Then later expand that ban to any type of lead-based ammunition. That would include sport shooters which is explicitly mentioned in the proposal, and later on, total ban on use of lead, and that will include fishing tackle, so also anglers will be affected. I have a more videos on this subject, uh, so check them out and subscribe to Tommy's Outdoors YouTube channel, but in this video, I wanna focus specifically at the most immediate issue, which is ban on lead shots over the wetlands. First of all, most of the European countries already introduced some sort of the restrictions or phased out lead shots for hunting over the wetlands. There are some notable exceptions, Ireland, Poland, Romania and Slovenia. So obviously shooting communities in those countries are most upset about this coming ban or proposal for a ban. So let's look at the proposal and see what are the issues and implications. First is the definition of wetland. The current proposal is based on the definition of wetland that includes marsh, fen, peatland, etc, etc. So that would mean that lead shots would be banned from the major areas of some European countries. For example, over a quarter of surface area of Sweden would be subject to that ban. And that would include also sport shooters, not only hunters. And again, that's specifically mentioned in the proposal. Secondly, uh, the proposal uh, tries to ban possession of lead shots. And again, this is, a, this is a big problem because most of the hunters are crossing wetlands on the normal day shooting. Uh, or if your favorite place when, you, when you're shooting your clay pigeons is uh, on the area that is defined as wetland, then, well, that place is gone and you cannot use lead shots in that area. Secondly, Shooting community is worried, and rightfully so, that this is just the beginning and the next step is a total ban on lead-based ammunition. I mean, California has already banned lead-based ammunition. Starting on the 1st July of this year, which is 2019, it will be illegal to use lead-based ammunition in the state of California. And obviously, European Union, with its groundbreaking chemicals legislation, which is, which is stated on their website, wants to follow the suit. That will, of course, cause sharp increase in prices of ammunition, in some cases as much as 400%, and in case of less popular calibers or cartridges, complete lack of uh, non-lead equivalents. Ultimately, also Angler is going to be affected, as the goal of that whole exercise is to completely get rid of the use of lead metal, and even a, um, the European Committee for Regulation on Registration, Evaluation, Authorization and Restriction of Chemicals, better known as REACH, which happens to be a part of ECHA, already included lead as a candidate for the authorization list, as uh, it is considered a substance of very high concern, right? That's why we already got rid of lead in paints, uh, polymers, uh, cosmetics, and most famously, water pipes, right? We not more, no more use lead in those products, so the ammunition and fishing tackle apparently is next. Um, so once it's, once it's moved to the authorization list, that will effectively ban use of lead without special authorization, as the name suggests. 